Are they trying to scam people? I don't know that answer, Ron. I did call this company up and I did have, you know, the viewer did have the phone number on here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I called this company up and he didn't like my phone call. The U.S. Mint sold more gold in the first quarter of 2023 than any other quarter dating all the way back to 1998. What makes it even more astounding, though, is when you consider the fact that the Chinese citizens, not the Chinese government, Chinese citizens bought almost two times as much gold as U.S. citizens during that same time period. We're going to talk about that in this video. We're also going to consider why doesn't anybody get rich buying gold and silver? What's a better buy right now, gold or silver? And I got a special treat for you. We're joined today by our great friend, Coin Shop Chris, and he's riled up about something that one of our viewers sent us. We're going to talk about that too. Coin Shop Chris, welcome to Ron's Basement. How are you doing, Ron? It's always great to be back with you, sir. Well, it's great always to see happy. you. It's great to see you too, Chris. So uh, it was a tough week for gold and silver. Uh, I think you have some data regarding the gold and silver price. You want to run through that quickly so we can get uh, up to speed? Yeah, I took I took the last past 30 days, Ron. Um, silver was down a dollar 30 or 5.12%. Gold was down $5.10 or 0.25%. And our famous Bitcoin, are you with me? I'm with you, Chris. I know okay. you love Bitcoin. Okay. I'm I, just, I, I know you love, you, always, you love talking about Bitcoin, so go ahead. I'm very happy to say this because I, I, just, I just love Bitcoin so much. It, this Bitcoin was down $3,504.92 or 11.59%. Oh boy, maybe they need um, to feed the maybe they need to feed the unicorn some more beans so he can put out some additional unicorn fart dust. You you know the metals were down this week, but not as much as Bitcoin. So okay, I think I think the people who own the metals are doing very very good right this right now. Yep, preserving our wealth. Uh, speaking of which, it seems like we have more and more people joining the ranks of gold and silver investors. We got some big news this week out of the World Gold Council. Chris, do you mind if I run through some of this data that we got regarding gold sales throughout the world? I am. Okay, whatever you want to do, sir. <laughs> All right. Well, in the United States, 32 tons of gold were, was purchased. Now, this is just investor. This isn't central bank related purchases. 32 tons. It was the fourth strongest quarter ever that the World Gold Council had recorded for U.S. Uh, bar and coin sales. It jumped 40 percent, OK, over the number in the fourth quarter of last year. So Americans were buying gold and silver. But what I think is like really astounding about this is if you look then at China, because America had, you know, record level purchases by investors of gold, 32 tons. The Chinese had kind of more of a regular quarter. They bought more than twice as much gold. The Chinese people, not the government, the Chinese people bought 66 tons of gold. Any comment on that? Because I've got a big comment that I want to want to hear from you, Chris. Well, you know, China's government's telling people to buy silver and gold. I mean, you know, I mean, they're being honest with their people of what's coming. Yep. Yeah, you know, it, 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 I tell you what, 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 what got me uh, interested in this data was the fact that in America we had darn near record sales, right? And we still were only half of the Chinese. But I think what's exciting about this is uh, so few people own gold and silver in the United States. There's a huge runway. Like we still are the richest country in the world, right? So. If just like a few more people join us, like we've talked about ad nauseum, those numbers could get really crazy in the coming quarters and years. Exactly. Well, you know, you have a problem with the uh, news media. They want to pump up the stock market. Everybody wants their money in stocks. Um, you know, some stocks are good. 
You know, I'm, you know, I, as you know, Ron, I'm not a big stock investor. I mean, I do dabble in some of the mining stocks, but that, that's the only way I would put my money just right now. Precious metals in stock, I mean, in mining stocks, but the news, you turn on the news every single day, it's this stock did this, this stock did that. They don't talk about silver and gold. Because Wonder there's why a, that is. There, I know why, because in 1971, Richard Nixon took the United States off the gold standard and there has been a concerted effort by the, by the government officials and by the financial community to uh, steer people away, would be a nice way to say it, from precious metals, right? The dollar competes with gold. Uh, the, the gold is kryptonite to the dollar. So they don't want people putting their money into silver and gold. I mean, it was a divorce in 1971, right? And what happens after a divorce? Typically, the two parties aren't very fond of each other. Exactly. You know, exactly what's going on. And, you know, like I've said before, Ron, people are starting to wake up and more and more people are starting to come in. Um, we had a little bit of downspurt last week, about a week ago or so, starting to pick up a little bit more now. And I'm still seeing new faces coming in. At the coin so, shop. The, the, yes, at the coin shop. And the word's, just, the word's getting out more and more every day by your channel, by other chin, channels. We That's what we got to keep doing, uh, you know, to all your viewers. I don't care what channel you watch. Like them all. Let's share them all. Let's subscribe to every channel that is, is out there. And this is how we're going to do it. The, yeah. the people will win eventually. Yeah, you, you don't have to be in China to buy a lot of gold, right, Chris? That's right. <laughs> and, you know, I want to point out, and I'll repeat it one more time, because to me it was, it was astounding. These are investor numbers. These aren't central bank numbers. The Chinese people bought more than twice as much gold than the American citizenry in the first quarter. And it was a normal size quarter for the Chinese, but it was a record quarter for the United States. That doesn't even count the amount of gold, which is by far a record that the central banks have been buying. More gold than they bought when the world was on the gold standard. There seems to be uh, a very strong appetite for gold in the world. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada. Spring Pole in Ontario and Du Parquet, located in Quebec, each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. So, so uh, Chris, uh, I have a question for you. One of the viewers proposed to me. And I thought this would be an interesting subject for you and I to briefly talk about. Why does nobody get rich buying silver and gold? Do you have a, a, a reply to that question? Why does nobody get rich? Um, I, I don't think we are going to get rich. Are we talking dollar terms? Um, you know, even if it did go up to this $85 you and I want so bad, John, we're talking dollar terms. I mean, you know, if we get off the dot, if we get off the dollar and go back to some kind of silver and gold as pay, pay payments or a digital version of it, um, you know, and I believe nobody knows how to. I can't say nobody. Um, people don't hold long enough. Now, mm -hmm. people want quick, quick action. You know, like Bitcoin. Oh, I made fifteen thousand dollars this week. Blah blah blah. Um, you know, silver and gold is not like, like that. And people get, and they, you know, hold it for five, seven years, maybe 15 years, and they dump it. You, you know, I understand the game of the, you know, what they do to the precious metals here. But um, I, I think this is a long-term hold. And get rich. I don't think you're ever going to get rich off silver and gold. It's wealth. It's, it's to protect your wealth, what you do have. Yeah, I think I think worst case scenario, it's wealth preservation. And and I mean that, you know, the worst that you can expect realistically from silver and gold is that it will preserve whatever wealth you originally put into it. 
I do think that there's an opportunity, depending on, on how things unfold in the coming years, decades, maybe months, right? Things seem to be happening quickly now, where there may be opportunities um, to, to, uh, to, 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 to convert silver or gold for other real assets at very attractive conversion rates. You know, you've awesome. heard story, stories of people uh, being able to uh, buy a house for, you know, 150 ounces of silver. I don't, I don't think that you're going to see sustained situations like that, but I think if a person stays on top of it, that there could be uh, similar type opportunities. I, uh, you, but you broke up wrong, but um, I heard a house in there, so I'll respond to that comment. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, um, you know, yes, you, you know, I mean, if you're going to tr trade your silver and gold for an asset, like a home or a piece of land, wonderful. Um, you, you know, I just, you know, I just don't see anybody getting, you know, unless, you know, the dollar don't really collapse like we all think it's going to do. And silver goes to what seven and fifty bucks an ounce, um, and the dollar still holds, maintains somewhat of its value left. Yeah, you could become rich, but um, I, I just don't see that happening. I'm sorry. Right. Well, I mean, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll respectfully. Uh, I, I'm probably a little more optimistic that we could see a situation, especially with silver, because of the scarcity. Uh, that we could see, a, you know, some windows of opportunity uh, to, to, to convert it into other real assets, be it real estate or other real type assets at very attractive rates. But I think at the bottom line, at the end of the day, the, the important thing for us to remember is that it is at minimum wealth preservation. Bingo. Yes, that's yeah. what it is. You're protecting your wealth for later on. Exactly. Exactly. You no, know, I mean, I, like I've, I'm a firm believer. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. People are gonna get sick of hearing that line over and over and over again. But it's the truth. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I got, you know, I got a deal over the week. Again, this week, Ron. Um, I think it's a great price this week. Um, I'm gonna send everybody back. You know, this is not financial advice. Is I, I do not get sponsored by this company. I make zero dollars from this company. I'm going to send you guys back to Liberty Coin on eBay. We're going to talk about the Cooks Islands again. Um, a tube right now on a Friday night is $579.72. That breaks down to be $28.98 a coin for a tube of 20. That is an outstanding buy, less than $30 an ounce. If you guys have some funds that you can spend right now, I would probably pick up a tube of that. All right. Thank you, Chris, for that. Hey, let's let's move right into this situation that has you really fired up. I want to tell everybody watching right now, uh, one of our viewers of Ron's Basement got this very interesting, very fancy flyer in the mail that advertised a company that was coming to town and is willing to buy your old jewelry, your old gold, your old silver. They're gonna roll into town and this is your chance to cash in on that, on that old gold jewelry you have, or maybe those old gold coins that great grandpa passed down to you, or maybe some silver coins. And when Chris looked into this company and into this flyer, he found some very interesting things going on. And we wanna talk about that and maybe talk about our opinion of whether or not you trust these companies that uh, that roll into town and send you send you uh, uh, sales brochures in the mailbox, Chris, why don't you uh, why don't you share with everybody what you discovered? Um, yes, Ron. Sorry about the thunder noise. That's um, okay. You um you sent me this through an e. You know this this is like sixteen pages, um, front and back here. Um, the one thing I've seen on the second page was um. Uh, they're saying gold price is around thirteen hundred dollars per an ounce. What? Really? Um, really thirteen dollars an ounce? Um, last time I looked at spot was right around two thousand twenty-five ish. Um, are they trying to scam people? I don't know that answer, Ron. I did call this company up, and I did have you know the view did have the phone number on here, mm -hmm. and uh, so I called this company up, and he didn't like my phone call. 
No. Um, he said <laughs> it costs too much money to change the ads, blah, blah, blah. And I said, but you can change the location on every ad. I said, you have the location on three different pages on your 16 page ad here. It's, do you, you know, and he just didn't like to answer the question. He claims they pay between 50 to $75 over spot on gold. And they're claiming they pay $33 for a silver ego at this time. Those are the two questions I did ask him. So, um, so I've, I have to wonder, Chris, uh, I wonder if like, you know, some nice grandma gets that in the mail and she needs some extra money, maybe for a house repair or something like that, has no clue, right? Most Americans have no clue about the gold market. And she sees, oh my gosh, I can get $1,300 per ounce if she shows up and tries to cash out some gold if, 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 if they aren't going to be and we don't know. I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but yeah, I mean, come on, man. You got to, you got to, your ad you're sending out, you're telling people that the spot price of gold is $1,300. And like Coin Shop Chris just said, you have no problem being able to change the location information on this ad that you send out. But for some reason, it's a big deal to change two numerals. I don't know. Do you buy it, Chris? Not at all. And, you know, and that's what I, I said to him. I said, you know, I, and then he wants to say to me, well, gold, gold prices changes every day. I said, that's very much true, sir. No problem. I said, but we're talking like a $700 difference. Yeah. Um, I mean, gold's not been 1300 for years, has it? I mean, a long time. No, no. I mean, I can't remember the last time gold was 1300 bucks. Yeah, that I mean, smells like a scam to me. I mean, I'm not saying it is, but it sure smells like a scam. For some reason, timeshare salesman is popping into my into my head as I'm uh, as I'm thinking about this. Well, I told him. I, I told him. I said, "You, yeah, I said, you, you count your blessings. I'm not in your area where you're doing this." I said, it's just, it's "Because I would be down there in, investigating you." I mean, like I said, he didn't like the phone call run, but. I just ask if anybody gets these flyers in the mail, newspaper ads, whatever you want to call them. Um, I, I would tell you take it to uh, you know don't go these don't go to these people. Um, you know there are multiple companies doing this, and the last time this happened, the same company. I'll, I'll tell you this. I'm not going to mention the name of the company because there are many companies that do this. Um, Gold and silver back in 2011, we know where silver went to almost $50 an ounce. They came right in my hometown in Maine and right before silver took off and they're trying to buy everything up. Yep, yep. So oh. for everybody watching, and I think most people watching realize this, you aren't going to get a good deal selling your silver, your gold to a company that uh, rolls into your town and, uh, and, and sends out a flyer that you get in your mailbox. Go to a trusted, go to a couple different coin shops. If you think you want to liquidate some of your gold or silver, we never recommend selling gold or silver, but if you have to, for whatever reason, make sure you shop around and, and work with a trusted, reliable uh, coin dealer, bullion dealer in your area. Exactly. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Great, Chris. Okay. All yeah, right. You're sorry. You're doing. You're, no, you're fine. I know it's storming there. Hey, let's I'm let's wrap up with uh, you since you care so deeply. And again, we want to thank you for joining us, Chris. You do this out of kindness. You aren't sponsored by anybody. We're not trying to sell anybody anything. Uh, but you had some ideas about how people could save some money on their bills. So go ahead. The floor is yours. Yeah, I'm sorry about the rain, Ron. That's all right. Hey, it's just pouring here. Is Hang it? on, let me go in that. Let me go in the house. One, one second, please. Oh my gosh, Coin Shop Chris is having severe weather. Well, while he's getting uh, back into his spot, I had another question. What's what's a better thing to buy right now, gold or silver? There is not a right or wrong answer to that question. I will tell you that right now. I prefer silver over gold. I do own a lot of gold stocks, but most of the top analysts that I follow, and I can tell you even myself, believe that 
uh, that silver uh, is a is a better value on a historic basis, also as as a as compared to gold. Yes, sir, that is correct. So here's my. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you fine. All right, sorry, this is a bad storm here. Um, you asked me about saving some money on bills and stuff. Um, you know, I, I come up with a small list. This is not, like I said, not a financial advice. But since we're getting the summer months, you know, people might want to look at the cable bill if they had any add-ons like HBO, Cinemax, whatever like that. If you're you know, if you're going to be out more than inside the house, you might want to knock that off for the summer months. That will save you some some cash there, and maybe invest it into silver and gold. Um, your your cell phone bill. Are you using Are you using your unlet, unlimited data plan? I would call your phone company see if you what gigs you're really using. If you're using a lot of Wi-Fi, there's no sense of having an unlimited data plan. That would save you some cash. Um, your car insurance. Not driving much. Um, call your um, car insurance co company up and see. So tell them if you're driving 50 miles a, a week, you might be paying for something that you don't re re realize you're paying for and you're paying too much for car insurance. And the last one, less going out to eat and less going to start Starbucks. <laughs> right. Or casinos. That that as well, too, Ron. <laughs> but, you know, if that's what you do for fun, that's. To, 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 to each their own. Yeah, there's a lot of ways people can save money, especially just by picking the phone up and calling their internet provider, their TV provider, their cell phone provider. You'd be surprised if you call and say, hey, this is, you know, we need to find a way to save some money or we're going to have to start shopping around. They don't like to hear that with other services. You'd be amazed at the deals they can find to keep you as a loyal customer. Right, Chris? Exactly. I mean, if you know, I've done that with our cable bill, and I tell you, it saved us thirty dollars a month. Yep, and that adds up. That's three hundred and sixty dollars per year, right? That's right. Well, Chris, you thanks know. again for joining us. On behalf of all the viewers of Ron's Basement, all the subscribers, you're a big part of this channel. You are a big part of this particular video. Uh, you do this out of the kindness of your heart. Uh, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Ron, very much. All right, buddy. See you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.